Part 4 explains several optional Centria accessories that will enhance the usefulness of your Centria. These include the carpet shampoo system, the floor care system, the turbo accessory system, the zip brush. The carpet shampoo system was designed to help you shampoo, fluff, and otherwise maintain carpeting. It contains the shampoo system nozzle, tray assembly, system hose, brush roll, tank, and a bottle of Kirby carpet shampoo. Before shampooing, vacuum the carpeted area thoroughly to remove any loose dirt. Then, unplug the Centria. Make sure the nozzle is at its highest setting. Turn the belt lifter to the left or counterclockwise until the red arrows line up. Release the lock and remove the nozzle. Release the top of the bag assembly and remove the mini mTOR. Pull the shampooer belt up away from the brush. Make sure the green arrows on the shampoo system nozzle are lined up. Slide the carpet shampoo system nozzle onto the shampoo tray. Turn the belt lifter to the left until the red arrows line up. The belt lifter hook will catch and stretch the belt. Slide the nozzle tray assembly toward the Centria and place the hooks on the bottom rear of the nozzle onto the attaching bar. Push the nozzle up against the Centria and lock the nozzle in place. Turn the belt lifter to the right until the green arrows line up and lower the headlight hood. The shampoo system tank should be filled or emptied over a sink in case of spillage. Unscrew the large cup from the top of the tank. With the tank level, fill to the first line for small rooms, the second line for medium-sized rooms, or the third line for large rooms. Fill with warm water, not hot. Then, add Kirby Carpet Shampoo. Use one cupful for small rooms, two cupfuls for medium-sized rooms, and three cupfuls for large rooms. Note that using more than the appropriate number of cupfuls could cause over-foaming. Replace the large cup into the opening on the top of the tank. Larger carpets may require emptying the tray and refilling the tank. One tankful of this solution should clean an area about 9 by 12 feet. To attach the tank, match up the lines on the tank and the exhaust port. Slide the tank down and rotate it toward the Centria. The hose has a light and dark end. Insert the dark end firmly into the tray hole. Then attach the light end to the tank. Lower the nozzle to its lowest setting. Turn the suds control valve right or clockwise for more suds. Turning the valve to the off position will stop the flow of suds completely. Start with the suds control valve on. Plug the Centria into the wall outlet. Turn the Centria on and engage tech drive. Suds flow should begin immediately. As you move the Centria forward, foam will be released and the brush will work it into the carpet. Pulling the Centria back into the same path should dispense suds for the full width of the tray. If not, move the Centria more slowly or clean the shampoo tank filter if necessary. Also, to shampoo along edges, make sure the tank is on the opposite side of the edge being cleaned. Once the surface being cleaned has been covered with a blanket of foam, turn the suds control valve off and go over the entire area again. After allowing the surface to dry completely, attach the power nozzle and vacuum the dried suds residue. The Centria Carpet Shampoo System, when used with Kirby Carpet Shampoo, according to directions, has been tested safe on treated carpeting and will not affect the stain-resistant properties. To clean the Carpet Shampoo System, raise the nozzle and unplug the Centria from the wall outlet. Raise the headlight hood, pull the hose from the shampoo tray. Turn the belt lifter to the left until the red arrows line up. Release the nozzle tray assembly and carry it to the sink. Then, turn the belt lifter to the right until the green arrows line up. Pull the tray and nozzle apart. Disconnect the shield by gently pulling out the ends of the tray just behind the brush roll. Remove the brush roll by simultaneously pushing on both ends of the tray. Rinse the tray. Rinse the shield. Finally, rinse the brush. Then, remove any lint from the brush tufts. 
Shake excess water from the brush roll by brushing your hand over the bristles. Rinse the nozzle. Finally, dry all parts with a towel. To clean the tank, remove the sponge filter. Rinse both thoroughly with cold water. Rinse the hose. Pour out the remaining carpet shampoo solution and rinse the shampoo tank. Rinse the sud screen on the bottom of the tank. When clean and dry, replace them to their original position. Your Centria can be used as an effective floor care system for cleaning, waxing, or buffing a variety of hard surface floors. To clean hard surface floors, make sure your Centria is off and unplugged. Raise the headlight hood. To disengage the brush roll, turn the belt lifter to the left until the red arrows line up. Make sure the nozzle is set to its highest setting. Attach the hard floor pad. Plug the Centria in. Lower the power nozzle until the brushes contact the floor. Make sure tech drive is in neutral and turn the Centria on. You're ready to clean any hard surface floor. Heavily soiled floors may need additional cleaning such as damp mopping. Your Centria can also be used to wax hard surface floors. But before applying wax, first attach the buffer nozzle to the Centria. Make sure the nozzle is at its highest setting. Unplug the Centria from the wall outlet. Remove the power nozzle. Then, drop the buffer nozzle onto the floor buffer brush. Push the belt up against the brush roll with your finger. While holding the belt in place, turn the belt lifter to the left or counterclockwise until the red arrows line up. The belt lifter hook will catch the belt and stretch it upward into the nozzle. Attach the nozzle. Turn the belt lifter to the right or clockwise until the green arrows line up. Lower the headlight hood. Make sure tech drive is in neutral by stepping on the end side of the power assist pedal. Your Centria is now ready for use as a buffer. To wax hard floors, assemble the roller waxer applicator by pushing the two halves together until the spring-loaded pin clicks into place. Remove the wax roller from the canister. Insert the applicator into the open end of the wax roller. Pull the roller bag off the wax roller and save the packing bag. Use the roller to apply a small amount of Kirby Miracle Wax. It's not necessary to cover the entire floor completely. To remove the wax roller from the handle, push the wax roller into the packing bag. Grasp both the packing bag and roller firmly. Push the roller away from you to compress the retaining spring and pull the roller off the bar. Seal the bag to prevent premature drying and store it in a safe place away from kids and pets. For easier storage, you can disconnect the roller handle by pressing down the spring-loaded pin and pulling the two ends apart. Then spread the wax with the floor buffer. First, make sure tech drive is in neutral. Before you turn the Centria on, grasp it firmly by the handle. The floor buffer tends to move forward when the unit is on and the brush is in contact with the floor. Turn the Centria on. Lower the brush as far as the toe touch control will allow. To spread the wax, move the Centria over the floor as though you were cleaning a carpet using slow, steady strokes. Wait five minutes. When dry, Buff to a bright sheen. For marble floors, use the same procedures, but buff immediately. Avoid any drying time. Hard floors may be rebuffed any time it's necessary. Waxing is not necessary every time you buff. Apply additional wax when rebuffing does not produce desired results. Do not stand the Centria on end for polishing. Make sure tech drive is in neutral for polishing. And do not use Kirby Miracle Wax on rubber or asphalt tiles. To order additional Kirby Miracle Wax, contact your local Kirby distributor, or if distance or convenience is a factor, simply call Kirby. Your Centria floor buffer can also be used as a carpet fluffer to reset the nap on a matted down carpet. Before placing the Centria on the carpet, make sure tech drive is in neutral and the nozzle is all the way up. Plug in the power cord. Holding onto the handle firmly, 
Start the Centria and lower the nozzle one notch at a time until the brushes contact the carpet. Engage Tech Drive Power Assist and push the Centria back and forth over the carpet. Lowering the brush too far may cause certain carpet types to fuzz. For that reason, use of the carpet fluffer is not recommended for delicate carpets. The turbo accessory system can be used for a wide variety of household jobs. It's a sander, a buffing unit, a scouring unit. To use the turbo accessory as a polisher, attach the synthetic lamb's wool pad. Use it for polishing hard wax surfaces such as tabletops, paneling, and large flat surfaces. The dust shroud is not used when polishing. Attach the web nylon scouring pad. The turbo accessory now becomes a scouring tool. Use it for scouring hard surfaces. The dust shroud is not used with the scouring pad. For safety reasons, do not turbo scour painted surfaces. When using the turbo accessory system as a sander, it is always advisable to use safety glasses. To begin, unsnap the sander dust shroud at the rear of the tool and lift it off. Select the correct grade of sandpaper needed for the job. Fine paper for a smooth finish or a coarse paper to clean rough surfaces or remove paint. With the turbo accessory on a level surface, wrap the dust shroud around the sander with the opening to the rear and snap it shut. Be sure no metal objects such as tacks or nails are sticking up from the surface to be sanded. They could damage the turbo accessory or cause sparks which could ignite dust. Insert the attachment hose into the end of the turbo accessory. Turn the Centria on. Press the on button on the top of the sander and grip the sander at the front and rear. While applying light pressure, move the sander over the surface slowly, allowing it to do the work. Don't force it or lean heavily on it. That will only slow it down and the tool works best at high speeds. Replace the disposable filter bag after extended sanding because the dust is fine and tends to plug the pores of the bag. When connected to the attachment hose, the zip brush can be used for a wide variety of cleaning jobs, including carpeted steps, upholstery, or in the car. For best results, avoid pressing down heavily on the zip brush. Allow the brush to rotate at maximum speed by gently moving it side to side on the surface being cleaned. To avoid injury, do not insert fingers into the revolving brush area or push the release button while the brush is in motion. Keep the brush flat against the surface being cleaned. The brush can also throw particles outward. Avoid using the zip brush on delicate fabrics. To clean the zip brush, remove it from the hose. Then use the hose to clean any lint from the brush. Press the button on the front of the brush to release the outer brush ring. Lift the center brush air turbine out of the tool and remove any particles or lint. Remove any particles left in the tool cavity. Place the brush air turbine back into the tool and turn it until the tabs drop into the slots. Hook the tab on the rear of the ring brush onto the small opening of the tool and snap it back into place.